Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. Last we left off, boy how did it, we have one hell of a mission. Sadly, we lost Ashley. But we also learned about the true threat behind Saren's mission. Sovereign. And as you notice, we have uh, supposedly a couple more missions left to do. But we really only have the race against time. Report to the council. Hmm. We have to try and go there in person, don't we? But, before we do that, it's time to have some chats with people. Among our friends. And companions. Let's start from the ground up. And again, teleporting backwards. Eh. Whatevs. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. I'll miss her. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. I hope so, Kirihi. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Oh, show me your supplies. Let me see what you have. And the Ceres Council License, yep. Unique item, the Metagel, ah, good plan. Compared to what I've got, what I've got is much better. <sighs> Speaking of what I've got, how you doing, buddy? Looking for supplies? Um, yes. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. <sighs> and I'm sure that I have some stuff that I have to get rid of, too. Rogan. I'm not putting I'm not putting Rex in pink armor. It just it just wouldn't work. Sorry guys, just getting rid of some stuff. Snow blind, yeah, I don't really care. And Inferno. Well, I'll hold on to that for now. But I mentioned talking with friends. Let's start with Rex. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. Thank you. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. Agreed. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. <sighs> so long, Rex. Shepard. Hmm. And Ash, he's no longer here. Hmm. Hey, Garrus. You warming your hands by the computer again? Commander. I wanted to thank you. Again. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with me. I've thought a lot about what you've told me, and I've been... I realized it was... You escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let okay. it be I'm glad you see it that way. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Alrighty. Let's go and visit Tally. Tally! Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? Apparently not. I should go. See you later. 
Something I can do for you, Commander. Nope. Okay. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Sweet. All right. So, like I said, I'm working my way up. All right, come on. Controls, thank you. And she flips around because she wants to face the right way when she arrives on the right floor. So, first we're going to go... First we're going to hit a loading screen. And then we're going to go check in with dear old Liara. How you doing? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Yes. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. <laughs> and this is a repeat conversation a little bit. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. So do I. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Well, unfortunately, by now, we'll never know. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Mm -hmm. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. But there really isn't much else to talk about, so... I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Yep. And, of course... Let's chat with our boy. Anything you need, Commander? Hmm. I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on a coups? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, ma'am. Certainly. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for <sighs> that. Fine. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent, yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot. Not in the, ass. the same thing. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. <laughs> a bigger boot? Was that intentional? Is that a reference to we're gonna I think we're gonna need a bigger boat? We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Good, good. Shepherd's locker. Open. And take some useless stuff that I don't. All right. Yeah, yeah. You're you're omni gel now. Anything else I need to omni gel? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that means that it's. Oh yeah, shepherd's quarters. I forgot they existed. Unfortunately, there really isn't anything that I can do here. Oh well. Okay. Ah, time to make it up, and let's see, we need to try and warn the council. 
They're not listening to us when we broadcast or when we send our reports. Maybe going in person? Oh. One more person to chat with. Though it's not going to be a long discussion. Joker! Joker buddy! Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Elenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Yeah, there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. Mm. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Hmm. I think he felt attached to them, too. To Ashley or Caden, obviously. And whomever you would have lost, he would have been upset. Alright, so you get too close to that thing and you can't use it. What? Wait, why does it keep wanting me to talk to... Uh, I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Good. I knew they'd come hey. around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. So we get sent right back to the Citadel. Same cutscene as always. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. But we're not do- We're not just going after Saren! Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Yes. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Are you serious? One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Really? Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. No, you don't! Oh, that's... If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. What? You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. What? Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. I can't even form a coherent sentence! Commander, are you alright? No. I'm sure there's a way to appeal. We're under Alliance authority, after all, not the Council. Official channels are closed. 
They were quite clear about that. Closed. And we're supposed to accept that. So where do you think the best view will be when the Reapers roll through? If we have to sit it out, may as well get a good seat. We're out of the game for now. I need you to be there while I figure things out. You know you can count on me, or any of the crew, Commander. Yeah, but I'm asking you, dumbass. Come on, Caden. I can get a salute from anyone on this ship. Sometimes I need a shoulder. Yeah, I always leave a way out. You know that. I'm here for you, but we're in a rough spot, and the last thing I want to do is muddy things. It's all that clear to start with. Are we the pride of the fleet or not? Are we valued agents or just peons? Can't just pull out a good old-fashioned, it'll be all right, can you? It's that easy, huh? Okay, then. Everything will be fine, Shepard. You'll figure it out. <laughs> that wasn't so hard, now was it? I could get used to it. I guess we have some downtime to figure out what we are, huh? Yeah, don't we? Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. <laughs> I loved Kane's face there. <laughs> really good timing there, Joker. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Well, I guess you better go then. Well, and I'm taking you. And I may as well, well, hmm. I'll take Garrus. It makes a very nice balanced team. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Yeah, yeah, I know. And I also have to level up my team. Let's see, what was I putting this into? Yeah. There we go. Garrus has a few points, too. Not bad. And then I already took care of Shepherds, so... Alright. One last chance to explore the Citadel. Elevator. <sighs> May as well check on how things are going, right? Are we going to get a conversation between you guys? A research station on Novaria has reportedly been destroyed. The exact cause is currently unknown. <laughs> Given the research conducted on Novaria, many are blaming the destruction on an experiment gone awry. Maybe. Administrator Anoleus currently faces criminal charges as a result of the disaster, although the nature of the charges remains unclear. <laughs> Doesn't it? Hello, CSEC. Good to see you. Don't you agree, Garrus? I do like the glowy trees. I think that's a nice effect. It's a nice, massive effect. I'm so sorry. Hmm, and now that I'm here, I'm also reminded maybe I should, uh, check if there's anything better for any of it. No. Alright. Yeah, it's all pretty much the same. Yeah, you guys are already pretty well equipped. Okay. <sighs> really not much else to check out here, really. I'm sure there actually is, but honestly speaking, I don't know. I'm playing this a little blind, so to speak. And I don't want to end up wasting your time again. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. <laughs> Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. 
In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Uh-huh. Well, isn't that just nice? I'm so glad that they decided to include the race that made it possible in the first place. Dicks. Hmm. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? No. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yeah, thanks. Let's see. Anything going on around up here? Excuse me! You're the Spectre, right? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Thanks. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Uh -huh. Can I count on your support in the next election? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I thought the lesson of the First Contact War was that there's other life in the galaxy and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? Uh-huh. What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I see. I think I see where he's going with this. I don't this. know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. It's a good theory, but these people are making it sound like a racial issue. Yeah. I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views, but our platform is also supported by economists, sociologists, and medical professionals. Uh-huh. But you don't do anything to curtail the racist comments of your members. No. Of course not, Commander. Whether I disagree with them or not, they have the right to express their opinion. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. Uh-huh. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. Fuck no. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Uh huh. Seriously. No blood for aliens. That's Earth lovely. First. Lovely, lovely. Terra Firma. Fuckers. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay away from them. <sighs> You still going at it? Welcome back, Earth Clan. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. Let's see, you got anything else for me that I need? Ah. That is useful, thank you. Going to Lower Marcus just briefly, I promise. Fire containment system. Hey, Morlan. Yes, human. You need something, yes? 
Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Let me see it. Ah, Geth Armory License. Very nice. Alright, sorry guys, just making some space. <sighs> May as well check out Cora's den briefly. I know we're going to flux. Don't worry. I, I am keeping track of where I'm supposed to actually be going. Oh. But, I'm actually out of time for this installment of Let's Play Mass Effect. But I hope to see you next time, where I continue exploring the Citadel and, well, check out what's going on. Hope to see you then.